This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at this interesting research paper from AWS, Multimodal Chain of Thought Reasoning in Language Models. So what does this work do? Right? So if you are given a question like this, right? Will these magnets attract or repel each other? And there is this image where you see that the North Pole and South Pole of these two magnets are close to each other. Okay. So two magnets are placed as shown. Magnets that attract pull together. Magnets that repel push apart. And you have given options attract, repel. So the correct answer over here is attract because you have this rational which explains that the North Pole of one magnet is closest to the South Pole of other magnet. Okay. So now given just this text without taking this vision features into account, if you were to generate a rational and try to get an answer, your baseline large language model gives you wrong answers because there is some kind of hallucination present over here in the rational which has been generated. Okay, The hallucination over here is the south pole of one magnet is closest to the south pole of other magnet. Whereas if you include the vision features and then generate a rational, Okay, this model is able to capture this rational probably uh, properly. The north pole of one magnet is closest to the south pole of the other magnet. And the answer is the magnets will attract each other. It generates the answer properly. So that is the whole idea behind this multi-model chain of thought, you know, reasoning in language models. Okay, another example is shown over here. So if your input has an image of a cracker and fries, Right. And the question is, which property do these two objects have in common? Select the better answer, soft or salty. This model is able to generate a proper rational saying that both the, obje uh, both the objects over here uh, have salty taste. Right. But then uh, this potato fries can be squeezed. It is soft. Cracker is not. Right. So the common object uh, property is salty. So that is the answer over here. So what does this architecture look like of the model? So the architecture looks like this. You have two stages. First is rational generation and the second is answer inference. In the first stage, uh, both, the, uh, both stages share the same model architecture but differ in the input and output. Okay. In the first stage, the model is fed with language and vision input to generate rationals. In the second stage, the original language input with the rational generated is appended and is fed to the answer inference stage to get the uh, infer the answer. So updated language input plus original vision input is fed to the answer inference to get the answer. That is the idea over here. Okay. So for this rational generation and answer inference, basically they have uh, used the T5 uh, architecture uh, encoder decoder architecture. Okay, uh, so uh, requires generating reasoning chains and leveraging the vision features. They use the T5 encoder decoder architecture and the whole algorithm is given over here. The first stage is your rational generation where you take the vision and language inputs. Okay, then you get the features from them and you build interaction which is your attention between vision and language. Then you fuse the language and attention vision features, basically attention vision interaction, basically this one and to by a gated fusion mechanism to generate your H fuse. You feed it to the decoder to obtain the target prediction, which is your, which is your rational. Okay. So that is the first stage, which has been explained over here. Okay. So once you obtain that, what you do is that you uh, append the rational with the original language input. Okay and get the new language input, which is X2 over here. You take the original vision features. Okay. And you, uh, uh, you take this language, uh, original language and original vision. And then you give this uh, features to your, uh, what you call answer inference. Okay. Uh, to get your answer. Okay. And the answer inference also follows the same procedure. Okay. Same model basically. Okay, uh, which again takes uh, between the language and vision, it constructs the uh, attention uh, and then it takes the language and attention fuse and give it to the decoder to produce your output. So both 
rational generation and ancestral inference has the same architecture except that the inputs change the input to the rational generation is your vision and language features okay to get the rational the input to the answer inference is rational text plus language text joined together features extracted from that is given to the answer inference and your vision features are also given to generate the answer okay so this idea is quite clever i like this idea and uh, they have uh, shown the performance over here if you look at the performance over here across these various categories like of the question um, science qa benchmark uh, this thing uh, the question class uh, different topics are there like natural science social science and so on the overall uh, average performance has improved a lot over here with just 738 million parameters compared to 175 billion parameters from gpt 3.5 there is a 16% improvement over here in terms of performance so this is quite an interesting research paper uh this is a short video on this idea i like this idea a lot of combining vision plus text features for better question answering so if you uh, like this short video on multimodal chain of thought reasoning in language models please like share subscribe to the channel i'll be putting the link of the paper and the uh, and the github link of this paper in the description of the video do check out see you in another video